Hi guys, welcome to Brenda's Kitchen and Garden. Today I am um, doing homemade potatoes, which is potato chips. I'm doing potato chips. Um, I don't did them before, but it's been a long time. So I did them a little bit ago, just see how they're going to come out. And it came out very well. But I want to take you through the process with me so you can see how to do your own potato chip. If we can do these things ourselves, why should we go to the store and spend all that money for a bag of potato chips that's not even full? So let's jump right into it, guys. First, I got my potatoes peeled. I got my mandarin so I can slice my potatoes. I got a bowl over here. Oh, and another thing. I just got these out of the garden because I got a, a jar of pickles, dill pickles I'm going to put in the fridge, fridge so we can use. And I also made... fruit leather so i'm gonna cut these up with scissors and strut and you know strips and i'm gonna roll them up and i'm gonna show you um this is how i did it i rolled them up and i put them in a jar like that with the little with a little tie on them isn't that cute guys oh well so that's what that's what i've been doing all day i've been in the kitchen later on tonight i'm going to do um watermelon fruit leather and i'm gonna do pineapple fruit leather i have a pineapple and i had a watermelon hubby will cut it for me and i would get all of the i'll get me a few chunks out of the watermelon put it in a dehydrator so it can squeeze the juice out and the pulp is what i would use for my fruit uh my fruit leather i also mix in um applesauce in my when i'm doing my fruit leathers i mix a little applesauce with it because the applesauce have the pet tape in it if you don't know what pet tape is it's what you use in jello when you making it want to gel so it'll help the the fruit leather to gel that's it simple that so that's enough of that guys let's jump into these potato chips okay i got one big potato and i'm just gonna slice it and it's slicing very thin. The thinner the better. I have a bowl under here. So let me show you how thin they are. This is how thin they are. You can almost see through them. This is perfect, guys. So let me do this and finish this. And we'll throw some in the, in the grease. So it does it so fast and good. Be careful because this thing is sharp. It will cut you. Okay, that's enough of that for right now. So I'm going to show you how thin they are. Okay, we're going to go over here. And I have a paper towel already laid out. Let me grab you and take you with me. I have a paper towel. Hope you can see everything. I have a paper towel right here. I, I got potatoes on it. I have grease on the stove. Have your grease on medium heat. When you And lay paper towels on your counter. Put your potatoes on top. Take another paper towel. Take some, some of the moisture, all the moisture, much moisture as you possibly can. It's okay if it, it's a little going to be in there anyway. So, So what I do, I just dab it. And you also can lay another paper towel on top and push it down with your hand. Now, me, myself, I put a little salt on mine, which I already did these. I already put a little salt on them. I'm not fitting to put no more. I only want a tad bit of salt. So let me see if, let me see if my grease is ready. Just about ready, guys. So I'm going to drop them in and I'll let you see. <clears throat> Maybe I can hold it up while you... So you can see me dropping them in. I'm throwing them in there fast as I can get them in my little fingers. And you don't want to put too many in there. You want to leave room so you can flip them or turn them or whatever you got to do. And I have my heat on medium.
I hope you're still seeing because I'm holding with one hand and working with the other hand. Okay, there you go. And these are, this is what I'm putting my chips in, guys. This is the, the chip. Let me see so you can see. See the chips? I put them in this container here. And guess what? I do have seasoning. I got some nacho season. This is popcorn season, guys, after it comes out. Ranch. Oh, okay. And I have butter. Butter season. So we put the ranch on it, and it was delicious. My husband said, if you, you better not go to the store and buy no more doggone chips if you can cook them like this. I said, okay, buddy. All right, I hear you. Anyway, let me get on back to my cooking. Okay. So, you don't want them in here no longer, about three or four minutes. You know, mine's on medium. See, medium. I hope you can see that. If not, it's on medium. And so, I just let it do its little thing. Sometimes, I'll move them around if I see them getting brown. And while I'm waiting on those to finish, I'm going to put this phone down. I'm going to turn you back around so you can see what I'm doing. Okay. So I'm going to load this, this paper towel up. I'm going to load it up with my potatoes. And then I'm going to dry them off. And after I dry them off, well, I'm going to put a little salt on them first. And then I'll dry them off because that salt actually bring the water out of them. So I'm gonna put, I am going to put a little salt on while, before I put them in. And I don't have to put it on there when they come out. They were so, I was shocked. I was amazed and I was shocked how beautiful they came out. But I wasn't even sure today if I had a mandarin machine that slices all your fruits and vegetables. But I, I was thinking, I said, oh my God, I know I have one. There's so much stuff in my, in my garage, guys. I told hubby, I said, I'm going down here to look because I'm almost positive I have one. Okay, they are down. I got my paper towel. You can either cover them up like this. You can cover them up like this and pat like this. Just get that excess water off so when you throw them in there, they won't pop grease all over you. That's all I'm doing, guys. Okay, now I'm going to put a little salt. I got sea salt, and I'm just putting a little on each, on each fry. I mean, on each uh, potato, I'm putting just a little salt. If, if, if a potato don't get it, oh well, it'll get it when they get all mixed together. I ain't worrying about it. Okay, so that's all I want to do to this. Let me show you. That's all I did. And they are frying beautifully. Sometimes I turn it up a little, but I'm watching. You cannot walk away from these. You cannot walk away from them. They coming along fine. I try to keep them off of each other, but that's okay too. Anyway, guys, that's what I'm doing. <clears throat> my, my time is full of cooking. Cooking, cooking, cooking. But I love it, guys. Make sure you like share and subscribe to brenda's kitchen and garden thank you guys for watching oh you want to see me eat a tater chip and see how it sound Ooh. okay look listen mm. amazing Thank you guys for watching. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you can see my next video. Hugs and kisses.